Now to an alert about a dangerous discovery in some of New York City's major parks. Officials are warning that some bodies of water in Central Park and Prospect Park have tested positive for potentially dangerous algae blooms. Eyewitness News reporter Lucy Yang is in Central Park tonight. Lucy. Well, Joe, we're at Turtle Pond, which is a beautiful and popular destination point here in Central Park. You can see folks come from all over the world to look at the turtles in the water here and maybe even to dip their feet in the cool water. But now there are serious warnings not to come in contact with the water here and with a large pond in Prospect Park because of an outbreak of harmful algae. Oh, I think it's terrible. I mean, we have to think about the turtles and our safety. Like, I don't want anybody getting sick, or I don't want the animals dying. That would be absolutely horrible. Park lovers tonight worried about themselves and the creatures who call Central Park home. This after the DEP found a dangerous kind of algae that can make people and pets very sick. We're told the same harmful blooms were also found in the large pond in Prospect Park in Brooklyn. All this to say park users should not touch the water and most definitely not drink it. The same goes for animals. So there's ducks, there's turtles, there's probably fish in there too. Um, I think protecting the wildlife is a big part of it as well. Algae is part of nature's food chain and normally there's nothing harmful in it. But the DEP found the dangerous type here that emits toxins into the water. On the surface, it can look like a can of spilled green paint. But harmful blooms can also take on other colors like blue, green, yellow, brown, or red. The only way to confirm the presence of harmful algal blooms is by testing. It's scary. I'm sure my dog sticks her nose in there all the time. Now, there is evidence the same algae may have found its way into the Harlem Mirror and the lake in Central Park. We are waiting for those results to be confirmed. We have also reached out to park officials to learn what is being done to remove this algae from the ponds.